You are listening to the Babe You've Got This podcast where you are receiving mindset and business coaching designs for the everyday gal who has big goals and dreams and is craving that guidance, insight and reaffirmation for creating success in their life. This is episode number four where you are introduced to the fabulous Caitlin Field. I am incredibly grateful for Caitlin to be on this episode and I get to call her my best friend. We met six years ago when I actually started working my own online business um, within the same company that Caitlin was working with and she was one of my mentors at the time. Um, Over these six years, we became amazing friends. We have traveled overseas together and around Australia. Plus she was one of my bridesmaids in my wedding in March last year. And now we work side by side as we continue to grow our own online businesses. So a little bit more about Caitlin. Before I met Caitlin, she was working as a very successful full-time personal trainer. Then after three years of overworking and burning herself out with traditional business, Caitlin found her passion with her online business called Wildly Free. Two years ago, Caitlin moved over to live in Bali with her partner and she opened up a vegan cafe in Changu called You Belong. And in 2019, so only a couple of months ago, Caitlin gave birth to her biggest achievement yet, her beautiful little baby girl. I'm so damn excited to have Caitlin share with us how she has overcome her challenges and created success in her life. Just a reminder to hit the subscribe button so you are always in the loop when a new episode drops. We are grateful that we can give you this time and content as you listen today and remember to leave a heart-filled review and five sparkly stars. By this process, you are contributing to our bigger vision and impact of inspiring and helping women just like you to grow their success and their mindset too. Don't forget to leave your Instagram handle in your review so we can give you a shout out and recognize you for your greatness. All right, let's get started. Hey guys, thanks for having me here, Kim. This is so exciting. Yay, our first podcast together. This is amazing. Oh I God. just subscribed to the podcast the other day and now I'm on the podcast. So this is really surreal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're famous already. I love it. Oh, sorry, guys. Like, thank you so much for listening. We've got, oh, Caitlin's such a good friend of mine and I'm so glad that, like, it's been six years on this journey and now we're um, recording podcasts together. This is epic. Um, so I wanted, to, I wanted to get Caitlin on today because... Um, I wanted her to sh- explain to us when she had her babe, you've got this moment. Now, six years of grow- over six years of growing business, you've had multiple babe, you've got this moments. So we're going to start with one today. <laughs> and I know so many of us can relate to what Caitlin has to share. So shall we get started? Yeah, I, know let's can, do this. I know we can talk lots and lots. So um, <laughs> Take us back, Caitlin. Take us back to that time where you were, you was, there was a bit of a challenge, there was some struggle. Paint the picture for us. Let us feel like we were there with you. Yeah. So, guys, let me, you know, imagine this with me. Go on the journey with me as I talk. You know, you wake up in the morning and you put your shoes on, you grab your car keys, you've, you've had no breakfast because you've just woken up late, you grab your car keys, you jump in your car, you get to work. You do a whole day at work and you're driving home from work and you realise your entire day has been on autopilot and you don't even remember stopping at the traffic lights. Like you don't remember even getting to work and what time you arrived because your life is so uh, so designed around that autopilot. And, you know, I woke up one morning and I realised how unhappy I was in the pattern of life I was living. And it was just this cycle of living and breathing and I didn't feel like I was existing to have you know I didn't feel like I had a purpose and a passion I didn't feel like I was waking up inspired every day I was waking up because I had to earn money to pay my bills and that was like you know at that point enough was enough Um, but I knew that there was more out there and in my head I knew that I wasn't happy but in my heart I knew I had a massive desire to chase freedom I just wanted this sense of freedom because From such a young age, I had been babysitting when I was really young. Then I got into waitressing, wedding coordinating, personal training. And I was just like, you know, one job to another in the end. And I just didn't feel that anything was lighting me up. It wasn't fulfilling my soul. 
And um, I knew that this was taking a toll on my mindset, which is definitely our topic today. Um, you know, and my mindset started to spiral and I started to realize anxiety became a pattern in my life and insomnia when I was sleeping and I, I couldn't get myself back to sleep because I was overthinking and getting anxious about what was coming up the next day. And, you know, I realized along that journey that because I wasn't living in my true values, that I was completely out of alignment. And that's when I was, you know, the same. If you're in your head, you're dead. So I tried to find in my heart what I wanted to do and where I wanted to go and how I wanted to be inspired every single day. And that's kind of where my baby got this moment kicked in. And Kane and I, my partner and I, we were sitting in a friend's house. It was actually my business coach at the time, Simon Mitchell. And we were sitting in his house and we said, you know, what do we want our life to look like? Because we were in this beautiful big house that he has and we thought, okay, we could, we could afford this. We could live in a big giant mansion like this. And we just looked at each other at one moment and thought, well, maybe that's not actually what we desire because what we desire is the simple life. We desire to chase freedom, live happily, live off the earth, live as hippie as we possibly can. And that's kind of where my brand of Wildly Free came into it and tying that into business and showing women how to earn an income online and be able to travel. Um, but yeah, it was kind of that moment when we were like, well, what do we want life to look like? And we both said, well, do we want to live in Bali? Let's try and live there. We've got an online income. It's residual. It's absolutely incredible having this business. So we thought, you know what? Let's do it. Let's go move over to Bali for 12 months and see where life takes us. And that was the moment when I knew, babe, you've got this. I have to do it. And in my heart, it was like for the first time I actually felt inspired and I actually felt for the first time that there was more than just the everyday life and the everyday grind. So that was um, a huge moment for us and a huge moment for me as a woman to actually have that empowerment as well, to know that I can make those decisions and those choices because I've got that flexibility of time and money freedom. Um, so that was really cool. But then... Um, once I made that decision and I felt inspired within inside me for the first time in probably about nine years, it was the first time I actually felt inspired. That's when we then went, okay, what do we need to do now? And it was about, you know, we'd made the decision to move to Bali. It was about now creating a goal to make our online business all about living widely free and showing people that it is possible to break out of the conditioning and the everyday norm. And that if you change your mindset, you can change your complete pattern of life and you can change that cycle that you may be living in right now so we then created an action plan and we literally I remember we got this giant piece of paper this giant art book and we just scribbled down as many things as we could that would make us happy and fulfill us at a heart level and everything really came down to what we were going to do in Bali and how we could achieve that so our action plan looked something like this it was selling everything we had in Perth um, saving as much money as we could. And thanks to this business, I worked really hard for about six months and doubled my income. Then um, building. So it was about, you know, what can we build and create as a legacy? We wanted to have more than just move and live to Bali. We wanted to create a legacy when we were there. And that's really where we created our cafe, which is called You Belong, bringing people together. And then it was about staying on track and really being focused. And that's where our mindset um, was a huge driver. It was always about reading our mission statement every day, knowing that we were on purpose, knowing that we were feeling aligned. And when we were feeling a little bit distracted and we weren't feeling that we were living in those values, it was a good reminder to read our mission statement, get our mindset back on track and be able to um, change either our mindset or the environment that we were hanging out in, um, move away from possibly toxic relationships and move into some really beautiful flourishing relationships that would move us closer towards our goals and what we wanted to achieve with our mission. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so good. I love that so much. Gosh, like who doesn't dream of packing up everything and moving to a tropical destination like Bali. And for those of you like in Australia, we know that Bali is, it's, it's so good. It's so simple. There's so much variety and opportunity there. If you're listening in from anywhere else in the world, I'm sure you have that little tropical island destination that's a short trip from you where you just would love to pack up and live. But we only see some people do it, right? We see, we see those people who do it and we're like, oh, I wish that could be me. So it's really cool of what Caitlin's been able to do when she had to, you know, draw that line in the sand and be like, I'm, I'm making a change here. I'm making a change for our lives. 
Um, I do want to touch on, see how Caitlin mentioned her mission statement in episode three. So if you listen to the previous episode, I did already chat a little bit about that. So it's really cool because when we had the um, first interview with Olivia and now with Caitlin, everyone's dropping these mission statement bombs. So there's a little bit of a secret pattern, success pattern here. So guys, there will be an episode coming up on mission statement, what it actually is and how to create one. So I love it. And from memory, Caitlin, you've like, I'm pretty sure you're at a point where you're almost rewriting it all because you've ticked off like everything on your mission statement pretty much. Yeah. I feel like the mission statement is something that continuously evolves and uh, going back to mindset as well. It's because at different stages of my life, my mindset has been in such a different place. I remember, you know, before all of this excitement with moving to Bali and before I was with Kane, I was in such a toxic relationship and it dragged me so deep down and I was, you know, stripped of who I was. And I did it to myself because I tolerated that relationship. And, you know, for all the women out there that may be going through that, I just didn't know who I was anymore. And that's where I had to redraw the line and say, okay, I'm starting again. I'm starting fresh. I'm leaving that relationship. I'm first of all going to discover who I am and then discover what I want to do. And along that journey of what I want to do, I'll find my purpose and mission. Um, and then, you know, I just got obsessed with writing, writing my mission statement because looking back at who that person was and I look, I cut my hair, I styled myself different, you know, the person I was then in that mindset was such a different person to who I am today. And going to Bali really um, opened our hearts to more of a humble way of living. And that's what we wanted was the simplicity, but also to live around, you know, surrounded by people who understood what truly being humble was and living within their means and not beyond their means. So that was a massive eye opener for us. And, um, you know, something that I just, you know, it's huge about women's empowerment is to find yourself, to get back to that mission statement and read it every single day. Because when you're aligned, you are so, so freaking happy within yourself that you don't seek external happiness. You don't, you know, seek those short-term thrills and those short-term satisfactions because you're genuinely happy within. So you don't need to continuously seek approval or attention from others. And that's exactly what this is about. What the, what the babe you've got this brand is about. It's you reaffirming within yourself that you've got this. So one thing I do tell everyone who listens every time is, you know, how do you start implementing babe? You've got this, get up in the morning, stand in front of the mirror, look yourself in the eye and literally tell yourself that you've got this. You can say, Kim, you've got this, or Caitlin, you've got this, or you can say, babe, you've got this. It's totally up to you. So I guess one of the points of this podcast, guys, it's not about us telling you that you need to pack up everything for you to have your baby. You've got this moment. You don't need to pack up your whole life and move to a tropical Island. It's, it's the principle, right? It's, it's the, it's not the actual physical thing. It's the mindset. It's a mindset shift and taking action. So Speaking of taking action, Caitlin, can you share with us your top three tips that you want to, and top three pieces of advice that you just want to share that you know has helped you shape you to where you are now and shaped your mindset that you know will dramatic, dramatically, dramatically <laughs> impact others who hear this as well? So when you asked me this question um, the other day, it really got me thinking and I wanted to share three things that I could truly reflect back on my life and go at that exact present time moment and space this is what happened for me and the three pieces of advice I want to give today are based on that so number one is your environment influences your mindset your actions and your patterns and that's what I realized working back as a personal trainer when I was just waking up in autopilot living a life where I wasn't truly satisfied and happy is that my environment was influencing my mindset and then that's where the spiral became toxic. So, you know, eating patterns changed. Um, my habits with exercise were um, obsessive. So a lot of things started to happen because of the environment was influencing me so much. Um, some people aren't influenced by their environment, but I'm the type of person when I'm near the beach, I'm extremely calm and very grounded. When I'm near the city or busy traffic or in Melbourne or Sydney, my energy is extremely anxious and go, go, go. And I'm, I feel the difference between when I'm near the ocean and when I'm not. So for me, I'm the type of person where my environment really influences me. So just be conscious of that in your own journey and your everyday life of 
in what circumstances does your mindset change and what um, environment is that around? My next one is quite similar. It's about the top five people you surround yourself with. So obviously your environment and then the people who are in that environment and the people you talk to on a daily basis. So they say that the, you become the average of the top five people you surround yourself with. And again, when I reflect back in life, I'm like, yup, that was definitely like my festival days with Kimmy. And we were just like letting our hair down. <laughs> we were having fun. And then I'm like, okay, that was the group that I was influenced by at that stage. And then the next phase of my life was, you know, business and it was all about who was I surrounding myself with I had a business coach mentors I was surrounding myself with extremely successful people and that really influenced who I became in my mindset on a day-to-day basis so you know um, just be conscious of who are those top five people and actually write it down on a piece of paper and be really conscious of what are those positive attributes that that person brings to your life and then maybe start to recognize some not so positive relationships and some relationships you might distance yourself from because you recognize that that may be toxic and my last point is to remind yourself on a daily basis of your values so you can live aligned so you know my value was the sense of freedom and to travel that's my number one value my second value is business so what I started to do on a daily basis was either I was on Instagram I was looking at travel destinations I was planning my vision board it wasn't necessarily that I was traveling on a daily basis to live aligned but I was doing something on a daily basis that would make me feel inspired to live towards that dream and that vision and align with my mission statement um so yeah your vision um, your environment the top five people and living in your values on a daily basis would be my top three pieces of advice love it it's so good and it's sorry it's when you talk about like the top five people oh i feel like kayla and i we've had a very similar path but we've had a different the physical the material thing has been different because we did we went through a phase years ago where we were partying and um, we just, so we're not aligned, right? And that's what we thought. That's how we need to have fun, instant gratification. And we realized that the people around us were actually making a massive negative impact on us. And then we had to make those choices and maybe we're just extra grown up now. I don't know. <laughs> but, I don't think we, we did grow up along the process. <laughs> we did. We did. We have grown up and, and it is, it's all a journey guys. So no matter where you are in your journey, like you as long as you're growing, humans are only happy when they're growing. If you're not growing, you're dying. And every time I hear that, it's bloody hectic. It's like, if you're not growing, you're dying. I'm like, whoa, calm down. Like I hear it on like when we listen to our podcast and um, the coaching stuff we do and it's like, well, if I don't want to die, I need to grow, right? So <laughs> it's like a plant. The plant's either growing or it's dying. Anyway, Sorry. let's um, lift the mood up a little bit. But it, it's a very powerful <laughs> statement. Very powerful statement. And Again, we're going to be talking about in future episodes, um, your values and living in your top three values. And that's where your, your wealth lies and your, your greatest sense of joy. And it's really cool. Like if someone like Caitlin, everyday gal, someone like me, and there's other people that you're going to hear along the way where we've gone from, we're no one special. It's not that we know anything more or we're better than anyone else. We've just understood that this is the shit people talk about. This is the stuff. What's your environment? Who are you surrounding yourself with? How are you spending your time is going to affect your success in your life. So I think, I think we're on the right track. I definitely think we're yeah, on the right and track. And when we talk about success in life, I, I do believe that success in life is happiness. So yeah. the happier you are, the more successful you are. You know, you don't have to tie the stigma of success to money or um, a certain place within business or entrepreneurship. It's more about the happier you are, I believe, the more successful you are. So that's the that's the end goal and that's the vision that we're all chasing. Yeah, I love it. Yay. Thank you so, so much, Caitlin. This was great. I know so many people got so much value from this. Um, Caitlin's Instagram will be in the description of this podcast. So if you go into the description, oh, I can't even talk. This description, oh my God the section, you know what I'm talking about. You will find it there. You can go follow Caitlin Oliver journeys and of her little Bubba, who's so cute, who I'm so in love with. Um, I think we need another episode on that achievement of your life and all how you've grown to become a really cool mum, a, a successful mum. You're totally successful as a mum already. I love it. All right. We're going to wrap it up there. Again, a reminder guys, don't forget to leave a review. 
um, the more reviews and downloads that you do of this podcast means the more people actually get to hear this message. So it's about the impact that we can actually create and the lives that we can change. So thank you again for tuning in. You are absolutely amazing. And I'll catch you again on the next episode. See ya. Thank you, Caitlin.